Hi, I'm Guy, I teach at Allegiance MMA. Uh, I'm going to show you today the head and arm choke from guard. So follow me to my office and I'll show you. Come here, Dan. <laughs> so Dan's ending up in my guard and he really, really wants to pass. So he's doing what guys will always do when they want to pass. He's going to take his elbow and grind it in my face. This makes sense. We're here, I'm like this, I'm not enjoying it. What I want to do is remove him and get a sweep. So from here, as he pushes my head there, I'm going to bump his elbow. Now, this hand, you'll notice, is already behind his head. I'm going to bump his elbow like this. I switch my hips at the same time. As I do this, it allows me to lock up a choke. Okay, so I'm going to take the rear naked uh, configuration, if you like. I'm going to lock that round, pull it in nice and tight. Now, what I want to do, I can, in theory, finish this from here, but it's difficult. I want to sweep him. Naturally, he's going to fight this. So what I need to do is trick him. So I'm going to take this foot, my left foot, and I'm going to cut into his leg, almost like a reverse scissor. So I'll bring it down, I cut it into his leg. What he'll do is he'll fight. As he fights to drive that way to stop himself getting swept, I should be able to sweep him nice and easily this way. So I'll lock up my hands again, I bring my leg out, I cut in here. As he goes to fight that, I should be able to sweep him nice and easy there. When we get to our head and arm position, I'm just gonna come around to this side. I'm just come around to me. When I get into here, what's gonna happen is, just to talk about the finish, I've got my thing locked up. Now I'm already in my rear naked choke position. Again, you know, an inexperienced grappler, you can finish him just by giving a squeeze. Dan's not going to fall for that. So to finish this, I'm going to drop my shoulder into his shoulder. I'm going to let myself come down. I'm going ear to ear with him. I'm going to link my hands, squeeze, and take the tap. Okay? Yeah? You like that. Okay, we're going to do this one more time. So, we're in guard. Dan's got his elbow in my face, he's grinding his way across, like, give me a bunch of grief. I am not playing closed guard here, my hips are loose and I'm moving. As soon as that elbow comes a little bit on this side of my shoulder, I'm going to bump it. Okay, my hand's already set up to catch it. I lock myself in, I've got my rear naked position. Now I can't sweep him from here, he's too heavy and his base is too low. So I take my left foot and I cut into his leg. I'm driving the bottom of the knee here, he has to fight this. Okay, as he fights this, as I'm locked in, I'm going to be able to sweep him nice and easy on the other side. So we go down here, he fights, we turn him. We spin him round. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. We're here, remember, if he's inexperienced, give him a squeeze, see if you get a tap. Damn one, I know he won't. So I drop myself down, hand to hand, shoulder deep into the side of my neck, so I'm driving him in, and it's ear to ear. And then I give him a nice little squeeze, and we take a tap. Hey, did you like what you saw? If you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you'll get some more notifications of that coach and his playlist. We'll see you on the next one.